Imagine that Dropbox, Plex, and Remote Desktop had a baby, an app that could give you cloud access to your computer's entire hard drive, which could let you view files, pictures, and videos, an app that would let you edit documents stored on your computer without having to start a less than ideal remote desktop window. Well, that app exists, it's new, and it's called Unity. This app is available for free, and it's on iOS. I think Android support is coming soon. And while the app is far from perfect, it shows real potential as a go-to cloud access solution or alternative. Now, once you download the free iOS app from the App Store, you need to install the companion app on one or all of your computers. The applet, which is available for both Mac and Windows, consumes minimal resources and is pretty bare bones. However, you're allowed to specify what directories the app has access to, which is helpful if you want to restrict certain parts of your drive. Once you've done that, your computer is in the cloud. The iOS app is kind of where all the magic begins. You're able to select between four categories, music, videos, photos, and files. Now, Unity tries intelligently to determine what file goes where, and for the most part, it works pretty well. Music is very well done, and songs are organized by their metadata information, so you can uh, sort by artists, albums, songs, and the like. You're able to stream all of your music stored locally on your computer's hard drive to your phone, and you can even store it offline directly on your device. Next, there's the video option. Now, this section is honestly where Unity needs to improve. Unlike Plex, which fetches metadata if not present in your totally legal, non-pirated films, Unity just assumes all the metadata is there, and for most films that you download, it isn't. Therefore, the items aren't organized properly in their sections, and they're usually listed by file name, not movie title. Furthermore, you can't search by genre, actor, etc. It's not a huge issue, but it's annoying. Another thing that was a little odd was the streaming quality. In the settings, you can choose to stream your music in a lossless format, if available. However, there is no bitrate settings for video, and it never seemed to establish a 1080p stream if I wasn't on the same network as my computer. So remotely, away from my house, I could only get about 480p streams depending, uh, regardless of how fast my network was, which is certainly shy of the quality that Plex can deliver regardless of location. One thing that's uh, neat, though not unique to Unity, is that you can download the movie to your phone in advance if you anticipate being without a network connection. It's kind of handy for planes. Now the good news is that the video tab is my only gripe with Unity, and the files tab actually works amazingly well. I've given Unity access to my home folder on all of my computers, which is handy because I can view pretty much every file that's not a system file and could cause problems. But since I can view pretty much every file, if I have an app that supports it, I can edit and even re-upload these files to my computer. It's pretty handy for editing, you know, like a Word document on the move. You open it in Word, and then from Word you send it back to Unity, and Unity saves it on your computer. It's a great alternative to Dropbox, or it's great if you forget to save something to your Dropbox. The last thing worth mentioning is that you can invite anyone via email the opportunity to view files or directories on your computer through the app if they choose to download it. You can even restrict and revoke access on a per user basis, which is great if you wanna share a folder or some movies with friends without drop, uh, uploading them to Dropbox or to Mediafire in the case of pirated movies, but you don't have those, right? All in all, Unity shows remarkable promise. It's a fresh new cloud alternative that's absolutely free using your own network, your own hard drive as storage space. It's not perfect and you'll run into the occasional bug, but I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm sure that Unity will continue to upgrade uh, features and to improve things as we go along. If you're interested, you can check it out by searching in the App Store or by clicking the link in the video description below. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.